This is a piece by Judith Clark, who was paroled last year after being incarcerated for 38 years. One among many. It strikes me most on the subway in the morning at rush hour when we are all herded and huddled and tired or annoyed that I am so happy, so overjoyed to be here among this outpouring of humanity making their way to work or wherever, that I am among them, among them. I make the switch at the Rockefeller Center station from the downtown D train to the Queensbound F train and I have to cross from one platform to the other, and I'm walking up the stairs with several hundred others, like herded cattle, like ants swarming their anthill. And I am thrilled by the sheer beauty of all that synchronized movement, like a ballet, and I am one of the dancers. I'm on the move. And I have a purpose and a place to go. A job for which I will receive a paycheck. And everyone is wearing their personal outfits, so varied in style and color and formality. And I am also wearing my personal outfit that still takes me a bit long to pick out, so unused am I to such decisions. And I feel a heady sense of freedom and gratitude to finally be in the flow. This flow that I dreamed of and yearned for and tried to envision in poems, in drawings, and prayers. To be one among many, to be in the flow. That was my dream. And now I am living that dream in the most ordinary and yet extraordinary way. And this is my freedom. But I'm not without my shackles. The prison follows me, casts me, casts its shadow over me, infects my mind and soul, undermines my confidence, slows my step, and my sisters, whom I left behind, pierce my heart and flash before my eyes at various moments, reminding me that that endless trek past hostile, uniformed eyes, through dreary days punctuated by 5.30 a.m. standing counts, pat frisks, strip searches, barking orders, and I can feel their effort to be whole and connected and to not be forgotten, to join the flow vibrating inside of me. Others, too, accompany me into this life. The memory of those who were killed, their loved ones who live on without them, and all those whose lives were forever changed by my actions 40 years ago. They, too, accompany me. And often as I sit on the subway, I, I imagine someday sitting with those families and those I harmed. I imagine saying, I know that while I walk free, there is a gaping hole in your life that I am responsible for. And my joy and freedom is seasoned with regret and sorrow. My desire to make amends is stronger for my freedom than ever. These tethers I welcome, these people anchor me. I feel resurrected, but not born again. I am not new. I carry my past with me and look to my past to give me direction and purpose in this new stage of life. 